Hey guys, uh, Chris here back again. We got another quick video here for you. Uh, we actually had two machines of um, uh, different generations in over here for a Honda respectively. And I thought it'd be a good idea to uh, do a quick video detailing, uh, you know, some of the differences and stuff like that. So you guys can have like some kind of a, a reference point to go on for like older generation versus uh, like a newer current uh, generation of Honda lawnmowers that are currently out in the market right here for reference points. So what we have on the uh, left hand side right here guys is a older generation. This one, uh, this is a Honda Harmony 215. Uh, lawnmower. This is the uh, rear self-propelled one. It has uh, two speeds for the actual transmission right here. And this one also has the uh, plastic, uh, I think it's called a Xenoloy deck, I think, for reference points. And um, this one also has a, a, a variable speed. So you have one, two, and speed selectors on there for that. So you have first gear and second gear on this one right here. There's your upper handle right there. Honda exclusive mulching design right there. There's your handle. You have uh, two selectors, one first speed and one se or second speed, second gear, if you want to call it that. And you also have your throttle control over there for uh, choke, high speed, slow speed, as well too for that. And you also have the good old Honda reliable overhead valve engine on this one right here. That's their commercial duty engine on this one specifically. That's what I personally have on my own Honda HRC machine. These things are basically built like a brick shit house out there. They're excellent condition out there if you can uh, buy a Honda HRC machine st uh, style. And here's the front of the deck right here on the Harmony 215. And we'll give you a side shot of the machine over here for reference. Here's your side shot. And there's your back handle shot as well too for that. And I'll give you a comparison shot between the uh, two handles right here. The newer one is slightly more aerodynamic or dynamic, whatever you want to call it right there because I guess they changed the design so you have the older flat bar versus the newer uh, up angled handle in the back for the bar for the control. So here's your control levers in the back comparison. There's your blade control on this one. Blade control and speed on that one right here as well too. And your choke, fast, slow, and stop on this one as well too right here for the uh, controlling of the engine's speed. And here's your blade control. And you also have the smart drive on this uh, 2017 machine right here for adjustments. Smart drive adjustment control. And it's this smart drive control right here as well too, little paddles for that and you also have your blade control over here for reference as well too this one over here you simply have one big bar for your bail control and underneath here you have your uh, drive control right here for the drive just like so and here's your speed control your first gear first selector first selector and second gear for the second selector right here as well too so you got two gears one two and your choke and your throttle over here as well too. Here's your throttle control. And it has a uh, unique uh, feature right here. It says fuel valve off right here as well too. So you have the uh, choke. Let me just wipe it off here. Got a choke setting. Get a fast, slow, and you also have the fuel uh, fuel valve off setting right here as well too for reference. So you have a unique uh, sitting or uh, you know a unique uh, you know designation for the whole uh, selectors right there as well too. So the engine on here, it's their tried and true overhead valve engine. Uh, uh, this one right here, you have the uh, engine serial code on the actual back of the uh, gas tank reference points. I'll show you what that is right here. Typically, this is like the uh, late 80s, early 90s generation. It's right on the back of the engine's gas tank. So there's your engine serial number. Let's zoom in here for you. There you go. And the identification tag on these machines, typically they were, uh, you know, right right here. But it looks like somebody pulled the tag off because it is indeed missing. So we have to look and infer. They also have a couple other identification tags right here in the back. For this plastic deck, you have the serial number for the machine's model number right here, and you also have the other uh, uh, other three-digit code right here as well too. So here's your serial number area right in the back behind, or I should say. It's in front of the bagger assembly 
on the plastic lip they have in the back right here. So there you go, MZBB 6132804. And you have the other uh, three digit code of the asterisk. SDA. You need that information to look up parts for your various machines. So this is the Honda Harmony. There you go. This one only has one uh, blade on a machine for reference points. So we'll go ahead and flip it over and show you that real quick. Let me get my camera situated here. Hold on, guys. I gotta hold this thing steady here for you. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. And this one only has one blade on the actual cutting deck underneath here. Let me zoom in. Sorry about the camera. Got one blade. That's all you got. You got a drive belt going back to the transmission on here. That's your uh, two-speed transmission right there. This guy pretty much uh, kept his machine, you know, relatively uh, okay over the years. So that's what the deck looks like. One blade. And flip it back down here. And we'll show you the carb on here as well, too, plus the intake system on here. So, <clears throat> here you go. There's a the carb intake system right there as well, too. Got the unique shutoff valve for the, um, I told you about the throttle control up here. We got all that information right here. So, we'll go ahead and manipulate the uh, high speed, low speed settings so you can see that for reference points. There's the low speed and, and the uh, fuel shutoff is in the off position right here. There's slow speed, there's high, and there's choke position right there as well too, guys. So choke position is all the way forwards, so your sh choke should be totally choked as it is. Let me see if I can get a shot of that. Yep, choke's all the way closed. I'll go ahead and open back up, and we'll see the choke opens up. Choke opens up, choke's good, good to go. So, we'll go ahead and show you the other machine over here for reference as well, too. This machine, customer brought this over almost the same time as the uh, first gentleman brought the first machine over, so I just wanted to do a, you know, some kind of quick comparison. You know, show you what the older generation, like a 1990s, 80s vintage one versus the uh, 2017 model we have right here. So, this is the 2017 one. This is the Honda 2017. This one has the overhead cam engine on here. It has the uh, Quadra cut system as they call it on here. Got the name of the cut system right on the front of the uh, actual deck right here. Name of Honda right in the front on here as well too. This one has the variable speed drive on here as well too. And you have the GCV 160 engine on here. Overhead cam high performance, that's the way they call it. I'm going to go ahead and show you what the other side looks like over here. This one also has the manual choke system on here. Your manual choke system differs from the automatic choke system where you can actually control the choke of the engine on here for reference points. So we'll go ahead and engage and disengage that right here as well too. So there's your choke and your speed selector up here. So we'll go ahead and engage and disengage that for reference. So that's all the way forwards. Chokes all the way forwards as it is. Let's see get a better shot here for that guy. Sorry about that. There you go. That's, that is a choke position right there. There's high speed and there's slow position and that should be stop right there. So that's stop position right there. There's slow, there's high, and there's the choke position for reference points. And so we'll go ahead and open up the air box right here and show you the air filler looks like. And there's the air filter. So it looks like somebody stuck a, uh, <laughs> I don't believe it, they got a Briggs and Stratton air filter in here. Somebody put a, uh, let me see here, yeah, it looks like a Briggs air filter. Yeah, this is actually a Briggs air filter, guys. Somebody stuck it out, Briggs, uh, genuine air filter, and I couldn't believe it. So they got a Briggs, uh, there's, the, uh, there's the Briggs logo, and the uh, just says use genuine parts, Briggs and Stratton. So somebody stuck a Briggs air filter in there. So you actually can use a uh, Briggs and Stratton air filter for these machines because the air box uh, dimensions are extremely close and similar to the Honda uh, air filter design right there for reference points as well too. So got the emissions calibration tag right here for reference points as well too. This one is the 125 hours for the emissions compliance. So let me zoom in on here and show you that. Here's your identification tag for the emissions. Engine air, uh, moderate durability, number three number. 
which says meets EPA 2010 standards. Even though this is a uh, 2017 machine, as I was told by the woman who brought it over to us, because I believe her husband called me up and was telling me about it here. So here's your identification tag. It looks like somebody uh, took the liberty to uh, scratch off the one tag right here for reference. But you have a secondary backup one right here, so your Honda ones will have the uh, identification tag in front of your bagger unit back here. Your bagger unit's right here. This whole thing, this whole thing flips up. It's similar to the older generation right there, except somebody took off the actual plate on that one right there. And the newer ones, they simply have a uh, plastic tag that uh, has a has a adhesive on the back in here for it. So this one right here is HRR two one six six VKA. With a serial number MZCG813 for the first three digits. So that's your information right there for the actual tag. You need an information. You definitely need the information to look up the machine online. If you do not have this tag or the other tag right here, you cannot look up parts for your machine unless you have some kind of a receipt of purchase or something like that from the uh, manufacturer for reference points as well, too, guys. So we'll go ahead and flip this one up here and show you what the uh, deck looks like underneath here. Uh, I almost forgot. Your other, other unique feature on here with this one, the newer models, is you have the uh, identification tag underneath the uh, shroud, you know, cover for the gas tank right here. So your model number for the engine right here and the serial number are located directly uh, on, you know, if, if you're looking at in the back, they're directly in the back of the shroud and underneath they're about a couple inches. So you have your identification tag for the actual engine itself right here for reference points. So. There's your identification tag directly underneath the engine shroud on the gas tank. So that's where it's located at right there for the identification. So we'll go ahead and flip this thing up here and show you the actual uh, drive and the, also the um, deck system right here. Okay, there's your blades. You got two blades on here for reference. This one also has the uh, roto stop on, if you want to call it that, because uh, these blades are two blades, and you have your um, blade stop right here, your, your uh, blade stop unit. And you get your transmission in the back right here. Very speed transmission. That's what it looks like right there. And there's your roto stop as well, too, down there for reference. Twin blades, these blades look pretty banged up on it. Looks like they've been cutting a lot of crap out there. Plus the deck's kind of you know screwed up on here as well, too. So deck's bent up on here. We didn't actually take a look at this job yet. We just got this thing in here, I think yesterday afternoon. So this is this is just an initial inspection of the machine. So we'll flip it back up here. They they uh, claimed the machine wouldn't start for them, so they need it looked at, so that's why it's over here. Uh, the first one we got over here, uh, this guy, he needs the uh, tune-up done on his machine right there for reference. And he also wanted to have the um, missing um, uh, flap or plate in the back installed because um, if, if you notice right here, the older one, it's missing a rubber black plate in the back right here. Uh, the new one over here, this one has a plate already cracked on there for that. And this guy needs the rivets you get four rivets right one two three four four rivets actually hold a rubber black plate in here and he also needs that done on a machine here for reference as well too so we gotta install that you gotta remove the rivets on here and put either you can either put new rivets in place or you can put new bolts and nuts in place of the rivets so we'll go ahead and fire this job right here this this one is uh, basically done for the engine here so we'll go ahead and see if it fires up over here okay Get to hold the camera here, okay. There we go. Got it fired up. Nice and quiet. And also drives okay as well, too. This machine's probably like 30 some years old. So it definitely drives. Good. Yeah, it's working okay. No problem there. Go ahead and gun it up here. Nice and quiet, no knocks, no banging, no clanging, nothing. Put the 
little choke on, there's a choke. So it works good, no problem. We'll go ahead and shut it off here. So there you go, guys. That was a uh, quick uh, comparison between uh, two different generations of uh, Honda machines out there. The older um, Honda Harmony 215 with the uh, plastic, um, I think it's like a pre-Xenoloid deck right here because they don't actually have the Xenoloid name, but it is a plastic uh, deck right there for reference. And the uh, newer generation one right here, which it has a steel deck and has a quadra cut system on it with a variable speed drive on here and a blade break on this one here for reference points as well too. So we'll get giving our side shot here for comparison purposes. There you go. And the back handle comparison. There you go. And the other side, right side. So there you go guys, if anybody has any comments, questions about uh, you know either machine here, feel free to uh, leave me a message and I'll try to get back to you with some kind of basic uh, information about either machines. I'll see you guys, have a nice day.